All right, Libra. Overall energy, we are focusing on you this week. What's going on for you? Libra, overall energy. Please hit that like button for me. Appreciate it. All right, come to the edge. All that glitters. I could take this a couple different ways. So let me keep going here. Buy the book. I would expect no less from you, Libra. Doing things right, trying to do things the right way. Um, all that glitters. There could have been like some kind of false hope or all that glitters isn't gold. You thought something was a certain way and it turned out to be not that way. Two colors came out, something like that here. Come to the edge. Either you are about to take a leap of faith with someone or something and then realize this isn't what I signed up for at all. You're not who I thought you were. Um, or somebody is pushing you to the edge. That's the two ways I could take that. Like you were ready to take a leap of faith and then realize this isn't, is this really what I want? I, I don't know. This Somebody was being fake here. Um, you're trying to do things right. You're trying to be by the book. So you're not trying to screw anyone over, hurt anybody, or do wrong by anybody. But I do have never ending story, mending and go the distance. It's making me wonder if this is something like that you have constant on um, like repeat, like you keep manifesting same situations, different people. Never ending story, mending, going the distance. You want something to go the distance. So you keep trying to heal it or mend it, but it turns out to just be a repeated cycle. All right, let's dig in. Let's dig in. What's going on, Libra? Current energy, current situation. You're having a hard time either being convinced or changing your mind. Ignoring, rejecting, turning your back on. Could have been dealing with a fire sign. Doesn't have to be, but it's here. Decisions, decisions. Walk away or do I stay? I think you're walking away from this. I, I really truly feel like this isn't the first of this um, cycle uh, manifestation. I feel like it's been on repeat and now you're just sick and tired of it and you want something that is meant for you, something that is good. Like you're breaking the chains here. You're breaking cycles here. Like enough is enough is what I'm getting here. You're tired of this never ending story. You're, you're tired of repeats, repeating situations. You're going to be putting in work and effort on things or focusing on work instead of other situations. All right. Strength, confidence, courage. Yeah. You want your two of cups. You don't want a player. You don't want to be played. You don't want a player. You don't want to heal with players. You don't want to try and heal them. That could be another thing, too. Like, you're tired of healing other people. You're try tired of trying to mend other people's problems. You got your own. You know? And that's where players come from. Usually some sort of trauma, heartache, pain, disappointment, misguided energy. You're holding back completely. Any red flags? Mm-mm. Bye. You're really trying to manifest a true soulmate here. Um, you've had a lot of obstacles with that. <laughs> All right, obstacles and challenges. All right. Obstacles could either be like secrets, moving in silence, or following your intuition. Uh, ignoring, rejecting, sadness, loss, regret, remorse, trying to keep stability and balance. So you're... This is the the what I'm seeing here with the problem. Um, this could be what's blocking you in love is you're trying too hard to fix other people, bring them into balance, give them stability, give them love, give them compassion, understanding. You're you're trying to balance other people's lives instead of your own, um, and it blocks you following your intuition. I feel like you have a kind heart, you want to help people, but it always backfires on you. 
you always get the short end of the stick. You, you always get the left with the pieces to pick up after everything that you've done for people. Um, you get left in the dark. You get left confused. Uh, financially, you could even be finding yourself um, in lack financially from giving to other people. This may not even just be relationship. This could be family, friends, people that you try to help. I feel like you're overextending yourself and you don't need to fix people. You don't need to help people like that. Um, I know it's hard to say no sometimes. And then when you do stand up for yourself and you do put that guard up and say no to people that you're, they're so used to you saying yes, that they can take advantage of you. When you say no, they get mad at you. You're mean, you're a, a B, you know, you're an A, you're, I could, all the swears, you're, you're all of them. You know what I mean? You're this bad person. How dare you? Like you're turning your back on them and letting them down. It's a guilt trip. And that just goes to show you who's true and who's not and what benefit they had with your energy being around. So all that glitters, people are who they say they are. And you're starting to realize this. All right. So where does that leave you? Where does that leave you? Rebuilding your life. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, making big decisions or going back and forth on decisions. Some of you could be getting um, like a second job to re recoup some finances here and get yourself back on stable ground. Um, like multiple sources of income. You could be just juggling a lot, trying to get back on your feet. There's a big uh, emphasis on money. Um, some of you could go to your boss and ask for a raise. Some of you could be doing side work, side gigs, things like that. But I do feel like there is a wish fulfillment when it comes to stability, money, or finances. There could be some kind of like inheritance or somebody, you could manifest somebody that comes along and says, let me help you. You know, you've been helping everybody. Let me help you. You know, you could actually have some kind of like angel come down and financially help you. <laughs> For some of you, not all of you, but there is a wish fulfillment wrapped around money, finances, and stability. Um, it could just be you reaping the rewards from putting in a lot of work and effort with like a second job or, or doing what you can to make ends meet. Um, I feel like right now you are shutting down from love relationships. I, I feel like you're just really focusing on rebuilding your life. Um, you could feel alone at times. Um, I have five of pentacles and the hermit. So I feel like you could be feeling alone at times, but you know, and there could be temptation to go back to your old ways or old people or old habits. There could be a lot of temptation. Change is never easy. It's necessary, but it's never easy. And I have change right next to the devil. So there could be some challenges. Keep that wall up, guard up. Keep yourself protected with your energy. Stand your ground. You're a wounded warrior. You got that strength to keep going. And this, it's almost like, a, I feel like a readjustment for you where you feel like, the ones that really do have your back are going to be by your side and the ones that don't are going to call you names because they're not getting what they're used to getting from you. It's like you putting your foot down. Uh, this this is a heavy energy coming through for me to you. The nine of wands. But you're really taking a stand for yourself. It's like you healed all these people. Now you got to take time to heal yourself from all these people, you know? Um, all right, so here's some advice. Fix yourself a meal or a snack that you used to enjoy as a child. So go back to some like childhood, playful, fun, good memories. If there's traumas there, don't go back to those, but go back to like your playful self, your, your inner child. Uh, do something creative, whether it's painting a picture, listening to music, or writing a poem. Uh, get off your phone at least for an hour before you go to sleep. Put that phone down. 
All right. Uh, if you need to let out your anger, scream into a pillow and spend 15 minutes writing a list of everything that's bothering you and then throw it in the trash. It's a way to release. All right. Never lose your sense of wonder. Loving yourself is the greatest resolution, which is definitely what you're focused on. Uh, be good and do good. So be good, do good. So what could you do that's good here? Good deeds. What could Libra do for good deeds? Okay, so I feel like instead of helping somebody, okay, um, instead of allowing somebody to be codependent on you, help someone achieve their goal by guiding them, giving advice, but don't do the work for them. Make them do the work. Um, make a get well card for somebody. Uh, volunteer to an elderly neighbor's, oh, sorry, volunteer to walk an elderly neighbor's dog once a week. So do, do something creative like that. Get out of the house, put that phone down, clear your energy. All right, that's what I got for you this week. 